اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم I am Hamad Khalil and in this lecture I will teach you how to construct the power series of the function using MATLAB. A uh, power series is relatively an important concept in approximation theory. You can use it in construction of computational schemes for solution of a variety of uh, applied problems like uh, differential equations, its coupled systems, um, dynamical systems and personal and personal order differential equations um, so in designing computational schemes the power the concept of power series is fundamental and trust the the objective the objective in this lecture is to represent a given function in terms of the series of the form f of x is equal to c not plus c1 x plus c2 x square plus c3 x square. The objective is to find the constant c0, c1, c2, c3 for some given functions capital F of x. Okay. We already know some important series. For example, the series expansion of the exponential function is given as uh, 1 plus x plus x square divided by 2 factorial plus x cube. You can, you can see here that the constant c0 is equal to 1 the constant c1 is equal to 1, c2 is equal to 1 over 2 factorial, c3 is equal to 1 over 3 factorial. Similarly, uh, we can guess that ci must be 1 over i factorial. Okay. You can also note the expansion, the series expansion of sine x, which is x minus x cubed divided by 3 factorial plus x pi divided by pi factorial. So basically, c0 is 0 here. C0 is 0, C1 is 1, C2 is 0, C3 is minus 1 by 3 factorial, C4 is 0, and so on. Similarly, in the series of cos of x, C0 is equal to 1, C1 is equal to 0, C2 is equal to minus 1 over 2 factorial, C3 is equal to 0, and so on. So, uh, for a given function f of x, uh, if the series of this function exists, then this function can be written in uh, the series form as f of x is equal to c0 plus c1x plus c2x square plus c3x cube. Our objective is to find the constant c0, c1, c2, and c3. Okay, so it is uh, really simple to find c0. You can simply substitute uh, x is equal to 0 in this relation to find c0, uh, that is c0 is equal to f at 0. Okay. So, you can calculate the constant c1 by using the derivative of the function. You can differentiate the function to write f dash is equal to c1 plus c2 into 2x plus c3 into 3x square and so on. Now, you can plug uh, x is equal to 0 in this relation to pi and c1. Uh, that is c1 is equal to f dash at 0. Uh, similarly, you can find, uh, you can again differentiate the function and uh, find the other constant c2 in this way the continuing in this way we can construct uh, we can construct a general expression for the ith constant that is ci is equal to 1 over i factorial into i derived of the function f at x is equal to 0 so in this uh, this relation can be used if the function capital f is given so for that specific function we can find the ci constant Okay, using this relation, we can divide by i factorial um, the quantity the i derivative of the function f at 0. Okay, so once the constant ci are calculated, so from this constant we can construct the power series of that function. So in MATLAB, you can uh, do it uh, in multiple of way, in multiple of ways. The most simplest way I I prefer to use is uh, by using the par loop. So you can construct a symbol x. Then you have to define the function for which you want to find in the to find the series. Uh, you can specify a scale level. For example, you if you want to find the first ten constants, you, you have to use it is equal to ten. Okay. For in, if you want to find the first hundred constants, so you can change that at the set at n is equal to hundred. Now you have to start a loop. For is equal to zero up to n. Um, so you have first to define the i derivative of the function. So you can type 
f i is equal to d i double f of the capital f with respect to x of r of i. So this command will give you the i derivative of the i derivative of the function capital f. Okay. Now you can substitute x is equal to zero in this derivative by simply by typing the command subs subs substitute subs f i with respect to f i on x with zero. Okay. Now you have to use uh, you have to use this estimate to construct the constant c i. So I will write c at i plus one is equal to one over game of i plus one. This is especially for uh, this command is game of i plus one represent the i big two wheel. Star i derivative of the function f at x is equal to zero as we have defined it earlier in this step. Okay. Now I have to end this. So. Now we have we have to do it at MATLAB. So I will um, I will open the editor and uh, start a new file with the command clear all. This will usually this will usually clear the uh, all the workspace items. I will create a symbol x using this command. Uh, sim, symbol x create a symbol. Now I will introduce the function f is equal to uh, exponential of x. So this is the objective function for which I want to calculate the series expansion, the power series expansion. I will write n is equal to four. Uh, this is this is basically basically called the scale level, the scale level of the approximation. Now I will start uh, a loop for i is equal to one zero up to n. Uh, f at i is equal to differential differential of capital F with respect to x of order i. Um, now I will substitute x is equal to 0 in this uh, f i. So I will write uh, I will I will write substitute uh, capital F i with respect to um, on x with respect to 0 uh, with respect to x on 0. Now uh, I will write c at i plus 1 is equal to 1 over gamma of i plus 1. This is basically 1 over i vectorial into uh, f i o which is the i derivative of the function f and uh, we are 0 is substituted you can note this comma okay now I will now I will run this code to see that whether if it is working or not so basically n is equal to 0 Let us see. C C naught is equal to one. C one is equal to one. C two is equal to one over two. C three is equal to one over three factorial. C four is equal to one over four factorial, and so on. Now uh, the question is how to construct, how to reconstruct the approximated function from this constant. So uh, we have to multiply the C naught by x power zero plus C one multiplied by x power one plus C two x power two. Uh, so for, for reconstruction of the series, uh, I have to. Um, I need a vector in which x power zero, x power one, x power two. These elements are in which these elements are present. Okay, so I will introduce the command t eight i plus one. This is basically the vector in which I will place the the x power x power i. So I. Now, now let us see that what is t at what, what is the vector t so so the vector t is basically x power 0 x power and x power square x cube and x power t okay so to to reconstruct the function e power x from these uh, constants and this vector we have simply to multiply uh, c with the transpose of t Okay. So this is basically the fourth term, the the five term truncated series of e power x. Okay, so uh, I will construct the uh, vector t uh, here by the command t at i plus one is equal to x power i. Uh, now I will uh, introduce another function which is the approximated function a p 
function i i have written this name for the proximated function which is equal to c cross transpose of t okay now we have to start figure one we have to plot the uh, original function we have to plot the proximated function in one window okay and uh, we have uh, to plot we have also to see the absolute difference between the function and its approximation so i will uh, write is a plot absolute value of the function f minus approximate you can also you can also introduce you can also define it out of outside the function so i will uh, write it uh, is it dot error on the domain minus one and one so this will give us uh, this will give us the absolute error of these two functions okay so in figure one uh, we have two functions one the original function and the second one the approximated function so you you may see that the blue function let us let No, it is clear. It is visible clear. The, the blue dots are actually the exact function and the black solid line is actually the approximated version. This is on the domain minus 1 and 1. So uh, now let us check the absolute difference of these two functions on this domain. So this is basically this the absolute difference is basically represented by this curve. Uh, this is actually the uh, absolute difference of exponential function of x minus the approximated series version so you can see that at every point of x at every point of x the absolute difference is less than 10 power minus 3 okay uh, a very reasonable estimate you may also note that um, as we are moving from x is equal to 0 to the left or to the right the series this the approximated series lost its accuracy lost its accuracy okay so it means the the approximated function is too much accurate at x is equal to zero so, and as we move from x is equal to zero to the left or to the right the approximation becomes less accurate okay so in our next in our next lectures um we will we will discuss the application of the power series in construction of computational schemes that i hope so you may use this and you may practice this in your studies thank you allah